a derivative kill. There she is. There she is. You know, I really wish they'd let us play music up here. Make these long trips go by a lot faster. It's against regulations. Yeah, I never understood that. They just don't want us having a dance party when a proximity alert goes off. See, that's a dumb reason. Because we'd already be on our feet, ready for action. But now he is using my game, my game! Here in the black on the secondary level. You know what it is, let's play. Hello and welcome to Calto number 29, I believe. And in this game, in this podcast, we're going to play Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry. It's an old, it's an old game and it's the la uh, land of the lounge lizards. And this is part two of this, this game. So hope, well, We'll we'll see. We'll just see how far we get. We don't we don't have to get, you know. It'll be. I realize I'm really late, and it was extremely inconsiderate of me. Um, I'm really sorry that I made all you guys wait. <laughs> I was um, I was invited to talk to Mark D with the C, and he's one of my friends, and I I had a really good time, but I wasn't considering you, and I'm sorry. Well, I think Lemon Pie said it best. Hey, Lemon. When uh, when he said, uh, Scotty and Jill have to go through makeup and wardrobe first, which is true. We do have to get pretty. Mm -hmm. well, well, I was like, being a jerk. I'm sorry. I have to get pretty. You, you just have to, you know. You're like a lady in a gown carrying a glass of champagne, wandering from party to party. You're very Gatsby. <laughs> Which is yeah. the opposite of Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, I feel very much like Larry. <laughs> oh. What what can't Kronos do with? What's the problem with Kronos? Kronos is here. Oh, I, and he says, I, I can't deal with this. I really can't deal with this. Later. He said, he said, I left a thumb zoop and I'm going to pass out. I understand. Oh, good night. Good night, Kronos. Yeah, well... I've done this, yeah, and I haven't. I've done this to more than one person tonight, and I realize this. I should, I should be more considerate to everybody. Hello, lemon pie, and Tony. Yes, I'm heading down to the sleazy side of town for sure. Hello to Pleasant Valley Picker C A and lemon pie, lemon pie, lemon. And hello to Sean Carter. Hello. Oh my gosh, Sean Carter left a super chat. Thank you so much, Sean. The best things come to those who wait. You're good, Jill. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, and JT Kirk is reminding us that, that I'll be soon. I was, yes, I was on the panel. It was, it was so good. I hadn't been on that. Uh, panel with Mark in a while, so it's always good to talk to him. Enjoyed talking to him about Fallout. It's a good show. It's a good series of games. It I is. Enjoy. It is. It's it's a it. really fun show. There's a lot of open story threads that are thrown all over the place, but I still like it. It's it's good enough to where all those holes don't bother me. Well, I'm looking forward to talking about it. I got a chance to talk about Stark of Iron, or talk about it with Stark of Iron uh, last yeah. weekend, and I know he's been uh, he's been going through the series, and so I'm just glad that there are people talking about it. There are there are people people. It's worth talking about. That's the that's the good thing about it is that it's not full of you know the messaging that a lot of modern TV is full of, and so it, you can actually talk about the story like any complaints i have it's about the story lemon pie says it would be I only so went interesting there to make my brief argument for annexing scotty into the u.s yes well and that is lemon that's part of the fallout lore as well and i think that one of the developers of fallout 4 tried to tie nate 
the sole survivor from uh, uh, Fallout 4. Uh, tried to make it so that he was the guy who uh, was chuckling at the assassination or the murder of a uh, of a Canadian in uh, in one of the cutscenes of the earlier games, and uh, he quickly walked that back because no one wants a war criminal as their main protagonist in a Fallout game, or maybe you do. Who knows? Uh, you got, well, you got a cold cold blooded the killer. Only time the only time I enjoyed a war criminal was like when Garrick became my favorite character in Deep Space Nine. True. He is a war. Is he a war criminal? I don't know. Is he? Well, yeah, he performed torture and stuff on people. So he, he so. did do torture and stuff. <laughs> I don't want to think about him that way because he changed, but it's part of his history. Yes. True story. Because. I guess maybe, I don't know if he ever really even enjoyed it. He definitely didn't like seeing Odo hurt. hurt. No, but he was good at it. And uh, his father really pressed him towards the war crimes. <laughs> PvP. Yes, absolutely. 43 minutes late, but bygones. Come on. Do we have to hold a gun? Hey, that's <laughs> that's that's all right, Tony. You can stream when you need to stream. There's no problem here. Have fun. So, yeah, yeah. PVP also doesn't like when I'm late. <laughs> well, what was it the other day? Oh, also, I'd like to. You know, this is a this is a name. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Master Eight Gunnam Vlogser. Are you familiar? No, I'm not. No, it, well, uh, and actually, I don't think this person is on a different stream. They're on. What am I streaming to? That's not Facebook. No, that looks like I'm a not YouTube even. Oh, comment. oh, it is. Oh, okay. Are what? we live? We are. We're live. <laughs> I hope we're live. Otherwise, we've been talking to ourselves for eight, seven, eight, <laughs> eight minutes. But yeah, we are. We're right. We're we're all right. Hello to shooter. No need to be apologetic, Jill. It was only I was only waiting for five minutes, and most of that was stuffing my face with a burrito. I hope it was a good burrito, sir. Yeah, me too. Let's see if this game works. Hello to Fermented Cinema. Oh, this might be loud. We'll see. Do I have to answer the questions again? Uh, probably. How does it sound compared to our voices? What do you think? Sounds good. I'm I am absolutely fine. Great. <clears throat> uh, Jedi Bill is here with a big shout out. Hello, and, Jedi Bill. And Mars Monkey Max. Hello, Mars Monkey Max. Fermented cinema. You are definitely alive. Well. Okay. Can everybody? Can people tell me if they can hear? Oh, Mars Monkey Max says, when's the show going to start? It started now. Can you see it? Yeah. Maybe do a refresh, Mars Monkey Max. Ah. <laughs> oh, see, I have to cinema. do this again. Yes. How old are you? Uh, sure you are. Let's answer. Um. Customary tip <laughs> is 15%. Yeah, that's true. That makes sense. Hooray. I like the cleavage. Blackjack is an ace and a face card. True story. Mm hmm. That's two. <laughs> We're Canadians. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> Delightful. Oral, Oral Roberts Rock. is a thermometer technique. <laughs> an evangelist best done with a friend or shy. I'm going to go with an evangelist. Good job. And that was, of course, um, he was an act. He was a Princeton. Dick Nixon. Yeah. 37th. 37th president of the United States. 
Mm, we're well done. I don't even know the president's in order. I only know that because of Scotty R37. He told me. Oh, what a smart guy. I know. Hey, Jay Goodwin. How old is Larry Lapp? Oh, you know what? Okay, these are the copyright protection. Oh, well, I don't know this one. Yeah, nobody I'm going to say 35 one. going on 16. But I can look up the answers because this you is for the copyright. That's my guess, though. Okay, I'm checking. He's 38, it says. What? Well... That but doesn't seem no to answer. be one of the options. Huh? There are two, but there are, don't forget, there are two different copyright protection uh, questions. One for the VGA and one for the original. And so, let's see. Okay, 40. He's 40. Let's go with 40. Thank heavens for that. Now slip on your leisure suit and load the game. Okay, so I have to restore. Mm hmm. I think this is my last one. So what was I doing? What is this game? Okay, can <laughs> you check? Can you check and see how much money you have in your wallet? Use the eye on the wallet. Okay. What? I can't use oh, the eye on the wallet. Okay, then uh, you see the briefcase? That's your there full inventory. I think I have enough money. We don't. We're going to need $400. We don't? So you got to go back to the casino. No way. Really? I need $400? Okay. It's okay. Because can you check your inventory again? Yes. Okay. Because we're going to need we're gonna need a disco pass. We Is that a disco pass? The pass oh, card just, reads. All right, we already have it, but we need more money. All right. Yeah. So we should admit one member. Remember, every Monday night is ladies' night. All right. Great. So I think you use your hand on that little yellow sign. Thanks. No, we already got our oh, condom. I didn't okay. mean. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to go in here. Like you said, I'm not good at walking in this game. Oh, your steering is fine. But I think you need to use a, a hand on the little yellow sign oh come on i i wasn't walking that way it decided to go that way oh did you end up buying did you buy an issue of oh no we don't need jugs yeah, I did. anymore we got the i did buy it yeah this this is funky i know all right all right that works hot diggity I do enjoy the VGA remake of this. It's just, it's more difficult to control with multiple people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lemon Pie is uh, commenting on Stark, enjoying tickling ivories, and it depends on the weight of the women that we find, but perhaps we may find an elephant in the wild. Am I allowed to say that? I think I am. Especially considering that this is... <laughs> A Calto After Dark with Leisure Suit Larry. Sorry. But I do enjoy the... There we go. You have to get in. So I guess hand on it? Yeah. So talk to him? And then you should have options. You can't you can't fondle the cab driver. <laughs> Apparently. So this one, right? Sure. No, that's licking him. No, right? that's licking him. It's the ver it's the, the word bubble. Oh, this one, the word bubble. Yeah. Casino. <laughs> we gotta go to the casino. Well, I made that mistake early on in the game with the girl, and so that didn't go over well. Well, it went as well as can be expected. Yeah, well, yeah, I should have actually been punched in the face. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it did go well. That is half the fun. 3MTA3? Three three. 
Okay, so I should get more than 400 if I need 400. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, get well, out. I think we had a really yeah. good... Yes. Thanks, buddy. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Maybe just okay. walk out. Yeah. Just use the walk. Oh, walk. Okay. Eat me. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> Exit. There you go. Thank you, everyone in the chat. I did not read it backwards. Uh, I, uh, I assume that means that I am legitimately not dy dyslexic. You couldn't get out of the convenience store, but you can't get in to the casino. <laughs> Oh, I was looking at the chat. I just wanted to see if there was anything I was missing. I can't I can't scroll up in the chat, but I just wanted to look and see if anybody knew was here. Like Matt G. Matt G. Hey. And, and Jay Goodwin are also here. Oh, Jay Goodwin, that's a good one. With Leisure Suit Larry, this should be less Calto and more KTEL Gaming. This is the Columbia House of Gaming. Send oh. in your stamps. Jay Goodwin says, nah, just means you're not leet. Why is this taking so long? Oh. Okay. Dog feet on me. That should be good. Yes. Um, so before you get to... Oh! Yeah, you do. Unfortunately, that's not to be avoided. Because we do smell like a... Uh, but the breath spray... Not until, don't use the breath spray until it says that your uh, mouth tastes like the inside of a motorman's glove. Oh, but so should, I don't need to use it yet. Not yet. But you should save before you start, uh, before we start gambling. Because okay. we're going to probably bet $200 and double that. But we have enough money to make a big bet. Right? Yes, we do. So and I have and saved the game. Delicious. Yeah, they're ready to play. Uh, it won't let me. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's fine. You slip all of your money into the slot machine and settle in for a few relaxing minutes. All right. I put all my money in here. Okay. Oh, okay. I would, go, I would put like I would put like 150 bucks in. Bet. See at the bottom where it says bet. Just up. Up. How much? 150? 120? All right. Going all the way to 150 then. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Hit play. Oh. Nothing? Nothing. All right. Well, load. <laughs> Welcome mm -hmm. to the power of Sierra games, everybody. <laughs> if only you could do this. In... Oh, in I should have saved. Life. Okay. I Now I know my mistake. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to save while I'm here. Sounds good. Save right there. Actually, hold on a second. Actually, gonna... Jason Kirk says $69 is a safer bet. <laughs> True. Actually, I'm going to go to 50, 150, and then I'm going to save again. Ooh. To save even so more don't time have to click next time. Things? Oh, my stars. You don't have to rush through this. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to have to reset. Okay. Well, at least I've got us. I've got a goal. Mr. Miles says you're up late. I yes, am. Sir. Hello, Mr. Miles. How are you doing? I'm trying to win some money. We are cheating, but some uh, pretend it's money. the only way to well, go. It's easy to do. So It is easy. It's true. Oh. 
Jay Goodwin no. says, have you played Monkey Island on the stream before? No, I haven't. Monkey Island is an interesting one, just because I never understood the sword play. Hmm. I've never tried it. I have it. I bought a legit copy of it. I just never got around to it. Hey! We didn't win that much, though. So, save it. Did We, we actually yeah. have less. <laughs> we have less money? Yeah, because we... How much money did we... Anyway, restore. Okay, yeah, restore. Yeah, exactly. Amount of money. Yeah, yeah, so it would have been fine. Yeah. Jerry is no. Oh. Wait, what? How much did we get? Nothing. Still three twenty-eight. Got nothing. We just. Why does it make that sound? If nothing good happened. Well, because we want we broke even. We want our money back. Oh, okay. Because I didn't. Yeah, that makes sense. That is good. Yeah. Okay, but not good enough. Well, but if we're getting our money back, shouldn't we just... We could try again and see if the, uh, the random number generator that all these work oh, on... Oh, okay. Why not give it another one? Give it another go. All right. Done. Uh, now restore. Mm-hmm. Now I'll restore. Anybody remember our Space Quest playthrough? Same thing. Mm -hmm. Come on, seven. It's a Sierra game. You always have to save early and often. True. Jay Goodwin. When you bought the hint books, they would say, save early and often. Hey, 480. Oh, see, we're I good. won. We're in business. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Great. We can get out of here. Yay. I think. I'm going to say we're supposed this to one. Go. Okay. And exit. Now you got to use the, uh, the breathalyzer. Oh, wait. The, the, not not the breathalyzer. The breathalyzer. <laughs> Breathment. <very> yes. <laughs> Breath spray. Okay, that's better. I think I told this story last time how I decided to use the entire breath spray can all in one yeah. go and be. Uh, I think did you we thought go it was comedian? Gonna... Yeah, we did. Okay, good. Yeah, we did that already. And did we cash out? Cash out? No. Well, just double out. check. Double check your wallet. In your inventory, I think. Nope, we got 480. Okay, then we automatically got the money. We can leave. So we're good. So now... What do we need all this money for? Where do we go now? Uh, you'll find out. Trust me. This okay. is... Uh, it's an interesting adventure. All right. Hey, Dalek451 is here. Just woke up. Feels like forever since we last spoke. Hello, Dalek. Yeah, Dalek. I didn't see you at Raymond. I was at Raymond's today. I didn't see you there. I guess I hey. guess you were sleeping. Nicholas Earl. Jay Goodwin. We have bested your theories. Save and restore. That is the only way to win at a Sierra game when it comes to gambling. And shooter, we did. Thank you. The disco. My stars. Talk about dating things. Disco. Time to go to the disco. Okay. Disco stew doesn't advertise. Fermented Cinema says, this game is non-stop, heart-pounding action. Agreed. <clears throat> I do enjoy it, though. And I do have to say that it's, it is, I'm not going to complain because I enjoy the animations. This is far more entertaining for uh, people to watch. But, uh, yeah. I do prefer the original 
I want to say RGB or VGA. This is the VGA version. Version. Maybe it was CGA. I don't know. Okay, you now I can ma'am? leave without the cabbie wanting to kill me. Yes. Great. Ooh. Uh oh. Is that? Hang on. I have to look. So you do oh. have a pass. Says the bouncer. I'm sorry, but this is a private club. Yes, I do have a pass. Oops. Is it wrong for me to assume their gender? Um, no, because it says right here in the game, you whip out your borrowed membership card and lay it on him. It is a game. Oh, okay. Good, good. As long as the game lets me know. <laughs> here you go, little buddy. You tell the bouncer. I'll just go in now, okay? Good evening, sir. I'm so sorry. I didn't recognize you sooner. Please come right in. <laughs> oh. Just take right, drink in this. the ambiance. That's what I'm doing. You engage in short but personally meaningful conversation with Oliver Bresfold. Oh, neat. Well, do you see that? And with Mike. You should probably... Okay. So go and sit beside that lustrous blonde. Okay, I will. But I want to read this. Want to go somewhere? Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. You ask William Skirvin, creator of all the wonderful graphics in this game. So that's like kind of an Easter egg sort of... of Somebody who worked on this game named William Skirvin. That's cool. Uh, replies Bill replies from behind Bill. his shade. Okay. Well, let me find my little walking shoes. <laughs> Nothing PvP like a man. says getting too late. Oh, good night, PvP. The PvP is leaving us. Cheers, PvP. Sleep well. <laughs> that William Skirvin is a shady individual. I don't know. He, he did the graphics on the skin. You smile at the girl and say, may I join you? And she replies, why? Am I coming apart? Bum -bum. <laughs> <laughs> now use your eyeballs. All right. And look at that pretty, pretty lady. This disco is filled with remarkably similar guys, all looking for remarkably similar girls. Oh. Oh, no. She's got green hair. She's an SJW. Hiya, baby. What say you and me? <laughs> Get lost. Get lost, creep. Oh, wait. Do we have candy? Oh, we do. Oh, right. The candy we found in the bathroom. I forgot oh, that. you're so sweet. I just love candy. Okay. So that's good. What else? What is, what's there? the objective here? We're trying to get laid, Jill. Hey, sweetheart. What's your sign? <laughs> Yield. Yeah. Octagonal, octagonal. She replies like in stop. Octagonal. <laughs> Who says octagonal? Octagonal. O octagonal. Octagonal. <laughs> oh, here's the. Okay, so anti-derivative Jill. This is a math channel. I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Don't get mad at the game. Octagonal. <laughs> Octagon. Octagonal. See, that's the problem. That's my problem with the word octagonal is. It's not pronounced octagonal. It's pronounced octagonal. And it's just weird. Anyway, like in stop. As in, oh. you're going to be Pentagon in a moment. Okay, but uh, I gave her candy. What's the. Yeah, what, you got Is this for real? Do I have to? 
Yeah, no, well, yeah. now there's there's <laughs> only one thing, uh, there's only one thing to do. Do we have a rose? We do. Do we have? Should I give her a rose? Well. <laughs> okay. Oh, she. You have to read yeah. all the ladies' stuff. Okay. Um, she I'll said, "Oh, you're so sweet. I love roses." Uh, she well, did. there's only one. There's only one thing left to do. You should give her. You should um, give her the ring. I have to give her the ring too. Okay, but I don't even know this lady. It seems a little bit. It seems a little bit excessive. This is how you got laid in the eighties. All right. You had to give just random women you don't know jewelry. Actually, I, from what I understand, this is how it works in the twenty twenties as well. Okay. <laughs> if you say so, I trust you. You know what you're doing. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love diamonds. I mean, I would see that as a red flag if somebody just starts giving me diamonds. Like, what's your angle here? What's going on? Well, as a as a man. Oh, so fawn, have I given you enough presents that you would dance with me? But of course, Larry, Fawn replies, you should have asked sooner. Now she tells me. Oh my, I think we're about to earn our leisure suit. I'm going to hold off on the chat for just one moment while we take in. Full screen, everybody. <laughs> this is the dance number of the game. I think this music may get us copyright. I don't know. I don't even know. But check out those moves, yo. You really think we're gonna get copyright claim for this music? I don't know. We get copyright claim. For this everything. is kind of a this kind of a long dance scene. No, I know. Than I expected. Well, it was <laughs> it was go. something. I remember being in a Radio Shack when they would play the original game, and this was like one of the highlights. And it's like, look at the graphics that Tandy can do. Nice. Remember, Everyone Jill, this is an educational sim designed to make you aware of your female privilege. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I've never just had random men come up to me giving me random pieces of jewelry. So this doesn't make sense. You get super chats. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well oh, was... and then... Yeah, you've got to go sit back down, I think. I thought it was because of, you know, all the work and research and fun things that I put into my channel. But okay. No, I'm joking. I'm being facetious. I'm sorry. I know we had a little bit of a spat before because of your tardiness, but I'm not actually trying to press that. Uh, okay. Jay Goodwin says, Scotty R37, it's not shaved on one side, so you're safe. Well, still green hair, yo. <laughs> Oh, JT Crick says if you wore that kind of clothing at the club, maybe you, you're right. I don't dress like that. Oh, wait. I need to talk to her some more, right? I think you should. She might listen to you if you can establish eye contact. Oh. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love you, Larry. I want you to make a Wild, passionate love to me. Oh my God! I hope, I hope that uh, that's you know you don't giggle when that happened. You're married, right? Anyway. <laughs> All right, Larry. At least you're gonna get lucky. <laughs> I am. I am. Gonna get lucky or married? Why not both? <laughs> she continues. But first, we must get married. I can never make love to a man unless he's my husband. If you would loan me $200, I'd rent the honeymoon suite at the casino hotel for us. Then after we're married, we'll celebrate there. Wow, this, wow, Larry went from being a virgin and buying 
sex to just getting married to a random woman he's never met before. Well, he felt it's love in first sight. Do you have no sense of romance? So I you, uh, what Shooter says in the chat, it's a trap, but I'm, I'll do it anyway. Where are we going? Where are we going? I know I'm in charge of the chat here, so. You know, Larry, a swinging guy like you must be loaded with dough, says Fawn with a tempting smile. Why don't you give me a couple hundred so we can blow this joint? Oh, that's why I was going to say you only we only needed 200. What's the other 200 for? She just wants a random $200. Come this on, is, a little. Uh, as it's Commander awful. Riker said in the in the Royale, we needed a little spreading around money. Got to pay for cabs and shit. Uh. Okay. JT Kirk has good advice. Folks, for your own health and safety, do not ingest. Candy no. from strangers. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Remember to buy more Allo games. Allo is uh, oddly... Uh, he, no, not oddly. He is famously the developer of the original Leisure Suit Larry games. Um... It's a shame. Not one signal business card. I think you just take your take your wallet out and use it on Fawn. Her name is okay. Fawn. Okay. My wallet. Okay, got it. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love money. <laughs> Digging for gold, Miskatonic Madman. You're absolutely right. This lady's a gold dicker. I don't know anything about her. And suddenly I'm getting married to her. It's ridiculous. She's promised the coitus. Like, is this natural for a guy to do? Um, I've okay. never. But then again, <laughs> what do you expect? Mm. He's from Canada. So. Thanks, Larry. You won't regret this. Meet me at the marriage chapel near the casino in a few minutes. I'll get us a room. Hurry, right, Larry. I can hardly wait. Oh no, Shooter has a bad idea. Oh, look at that walk. You got any fries for that shake? <laughs> Shooter uh, says it's a trap. It is a trap. I think it's a trap too, but J Scotty's J leading J me down this road. J no, Larry is. JT Kirk says, Caref careful, Larry. This chick has sharp haze. Or burpees. Oh, that's so hilarious. Jay Goodwin says, I got to say, the dialogue and situations in this game are far, far more realistic than Zack Snyder films. This is better than Sucker Punch. Yes. Uh, Fermented Games says, if only ladies were this direct with their breeding requests. <laughs> and Shooter says, all girls talk like that. I swear it's true. What are you, Andrew Tate? <laughs> Dalek in the chat says we are going to the, the chapel o love. Um Dalek says, Did Jill, did you see what I said on Raymond's stream for a while? But I left because I got very tired. You must have popped in after I left. Yes, that's that's what it was. Wedding chapel time. Yes, it's time to get I, yeah, I showed up kind of at the end of the stream like I always do. Yes. Fermented Life says what is copyrighted these days. Yes. I walk around feeling like Carrie Fisher. Can't look in the mirror without <laughs> paying five bucks to George Lucas. 21 bucks. Taxis are expensive and lost wages. Mars Monkey Max says, What's that dance Larry doing? Well, is also I think Neo Hall. Yes. I like how uh I like how Master 8 uh, Gundam Vlogzer is doing the disco in the chat. I made a mistake. What'd you do? I made you didn't a big pay the mistake. guy? I, I, well, it was we... an accident. It was an accident. Am I dead? Yep. Restore. We got to go back. We got to do the whole dance thing again, lady. Shit. Whatever. Okay. What? Oh. Learn. No, we're good. We have $480. We're fine. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay, but I'm gonna do this faster now. So you you deal with the chat. I'm not even looking at it now. I'm gonna go quick. Deal with the chat. I would like to say that I am welcoming the chat, and that's how you I know, I love feel about all of your fans. I know, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can't look at it now. I gotta go quick. I love everybody in my chat. I, I what I mean by quick. that. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I love to look at the chat and I love you to make sure to everybody's save. welcome. You don't have to save after using breath spray. I can't. Yeah, I do, because it's gonna be it's gonna be so annoying to do that again. <laughs> oh my god. JT Kirk, don't you I worry. Can't. Now that we've investigated the shady man, um, we don't have to go and do the investigative uh uh business around the disco we're just going to go in sit next to the uh the not sjw because she doesn't have half shaved head we're going to go we're going to give her candy we're going to give her a rose we're going to give her a ring we're going to do the dance scene again everyone gets to <laughs> everyone's gonna get see that again because that's uh that's money And, uh, and then, yeah. But you, and also, uh, JT Kirk, the, uh, the trigger for the dance is the ring. Hello, so. hello, Brogu. See, Brogu. Hey, Brogu. Welcome to our late night, uh, pickup simulator. Okay. Don't forget to pay the cabbie. Don't forget to pay the cabbie. If you exit immediately, you will get busted up. Yes. Hi, Jill. Yeah. Hope you are enjoying the game. Yes. We're going to give her candy, Wait. Rose. Why am I at the energy. casino? What the hell's the matter with me? You That's paid fine. too much money. You like, we don't, money's a limited resource here, yo, but it's okay. We'll come back. It's fine because we're only paying her $200 to get married at the Chapel O Love. And then it's we come fine, back. Fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Try not to we be don't... distracted. We're not we're not buying a suspicious white van, Jay Goodwin. But it is a pleasure to have everybody here. <laughs> um <Disco. laughs> fermented fermented cinema says, What's the cabbie story? You welcome to Cash Cab. <laughs> what is the capital of Iceland? First person in the chat. Hey, Cynthia Whitbeck. Hi, Let's Cindy. All right. How are Pay you? Money. Pay him money. Well, Paid for the cab money. ride. We don't have to, we're not buying to marry the guy. Okay. That's when the game is remade today. Yes. <laughs> yes. Miskatonic Madman, yes, it is Travis Bickle. Who's another famous cab driver? Aside from Travis. Hey, Lemon Pie gets it. The capital of Iceland is Reykjavik, but unfortunately spelling counts. <laughs> well, you're harsh. It's a text-based game, yo. Just walk in before, and then do you want to go and examine everyone again? Look at the guy with no. the bug eyes on the right. Have you ever seen Roger in a chair high enough so his legs weren't scrambled? I don't know if that <laughs> what? He's probably one of the developers on the game. Yeah, probably. All right. Lemon Pie corrects his own spelling, I think. I'm not 100% sure how to spell Reykjavik. I don't know why you believed me in the first place. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, somehow Jay... you knew it was misspelled. Welcome to Johnny Cab. Where am I? You're in a Johnny Cab. Played by Robert Picardo. Delightful. Oh, Robert, Robert Picardo. It was a good. Total Recall? Oh, Total Recall. Oh, okay. I love Total Recall. I, I, I wasn't thinking. I'm distracted. Sorry. No, I understand. You're pointing and clicking. We gotta get. Okay, uh, just, I saved the game, so if I mess up again, 
I'll be right here. We're good. You're doing great. Okay, so I just got to give her all my stuff because she's a gold digger and she wants all my things. No, ladies love gifts. Uh, she wants flattery. What? No, she's evil. You think she's evil? You think uh -huh. that she's going to dupe us with this romance? I don't know. Maybe not. You think that she's she's fine? She's not going to swindle him? Oh, I know, but spoilers. <laughs> well, I mean, I can tell. There was no... Jay she Goodwin. didn't want to talk to me before I started giving her stuff. Did you give her the rose? Yes. And you gave her the candy? Yes. Well, now it's about time to propose marriage. Apparently. If I understand correctly through this world. <laughs> All right. Everybody full screen. Come on. Check out these moves. This is how, this is how you shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think we bought condoms, Jake Goodwin, so we won't get the boogie fever, I don't think. Look at this. Oh no, is that a Russian dance? How Where did she go? This is weird. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh, yeah. she was thrown. Dang, he, Larry is pretty strong. Throw Fawn I'm... in the air like you just don't care. Fermented cinema. I did not know that. Johnny Cab whistles the Norwegian national anthem. Now you know some more useless trivia. Can't get enough of it. Loading. There we go. True story, Lemon. And yes, absolutely, Jay Goodwin. You should write one of these. Larry is pretty strong. Smelling. When you get later in the game, the narration is exactly like that. Like love for sale or ship up or shape out, I think. Slip up or shape out? I forget. But I have played a lot of these games. None of the console ones. None of the next generation. Only Al Lowe. Who also incidentally wrote the theme song, which is, I find fascinating. Don't restore. Save. Are you going to give her your wallet or what? <laughs> Octagonal? Oh, okay. That's what she was waiting for. I was like, why isn't she nice to me anymore? Because you didn't so give weird. her money. Okay. She's she's a game developer from 2016. She's going to take all your money and then make you end yourself. Oh, God. That's stark. It is, but this is a satirical game, and now that we can look back upon those evil, harsh times, it's uh, it's entertaining to discuss it. Hmm, okay. I never thought of game developers in that way. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's a thing. Sean Carter says, I'm looking forward to Love for Sale. I am curious if we can do it. I'm not 100% sure. Why? JT Kirk getting the reference. I appreciate that. Oh, is there a problem with the uh, graphics? No, GG does not mean good game. <laughs> What's wrong with Love for Sale? Is there a problem with the graphics? No, it's more of an audio thing. Like, there's a lot of voice acting in it and the music. I don't know if it would be. Uh, I don't know if it would be sort of ditched. So we're going to the chapel. We're going to the chapel. Oh, love. Okay, Just make sure you pay the man. Mary. Yes. <laughs> Jay Goodwin. I'm sure she started a Kickstarter and never delivered. We paid. <laughs> we paid Vaughn. All right. <laughs> and everyone's saying Lemon Pie, JT Kirk, pay the cabbie. Pay the cabbie this time. <laughs> oh, so I should pay the cabbie this time. This time. Fermented Cinema says she is a strong, independent whammon. From what I understand. There, I paid the cabbie. I think Elvis is going to be at the chapel, Olo. If I look 
call correctly. Ooh, oh, there's a flasher. Five. No, you don't. You can walk in front of him and he'll just flash you. I don't think there's anything bad. If you want to save first. <laughs> you can go That's back. Funny. You can do it again. <laughs> okay. Just walk in front of him and, and that'll be fine. Don't try. Don't say. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. You can look if you want. Oh. You can look and see it at his diminutive returns. No, once okay. it's open. Okay. Well, it's difficult to stop when I'm walking. No, I understand. There you go. Now use your eyes. Wait. Wait. It's not a guy in a trench coat. It's two midgets in a trench coat. And they have nothing to hide. What a town. It didn't say whether or not those midgets were men or women. So I'm not. I, I, don't, want to, I don't want to assume anything. Okay. Because I don't know. Typically, like if I when I played this originally in 1987, I thought it was two midgets and then two penises but uh, it's 2024 i don't know how many penises were on two midgets oh uh, usually it's guys who are flashers so well but that's know. not always true not if you're in new orleans modern era hmm. no you're right i don't know but i'm pretty sure it was two men. your heart fills Short with people. eager anticipating little people they prefer Actually, no. Short people, little people sounds like they're poor. Yeah, exactly. I say short. Because I call short? myself a short person. Yeah. But I'm not a short, I call, short person. I, I usually, I like it's people. a toss up between hobbits, oompa loompas, and... Um, Dwarves? That, midgets. I just say midget. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. I Sorry, just find everybody. out what somebody's name is. And then I just I call just, them by their name. And I just take these people to roller coasters and find out who can get on. <laughs> you would. Your heart fills with eager anticipation as you see your lovely bride fawn waiting for you at the end of the aisle. You've always been a sucker for beautiful weddings, and you feel sure that this will be your most special <laughs> wedding of all. Delicious. Oh, okay. Lemon pie, also very, uh, very uh, surprised. Oh, she showed up. Can I do that? Dearly... Can I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of uh, mm, mm, each hour to enter these two people into the eternal bonds of marriage. But before we really get rolling, I'd like to say a few words. Many, many's the marriage that I performed here before in this widow chapel, wearing this cheap suit before these shiny plastic covered pews with these erect candles looking at these genuine plexiglass stained glass windows for these knees we foo bucks. Are you Elmer Fudd? No, I'm trying to do the priest from the end of uh, Spaceballs. You can say this. He pauses for another nip from his pocket flash. Where was I? <laughs> Digressing. 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 Digressing junior high. <laughs> oh, well. Have you got a wing? He asks. Yep. Yep. She's, She's wearing. wearing it. Am I going to be the men or are you going to be the men? Okay, fine. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm being, when I'm being the priest, you be Larry, but when 
it's just Larry and the yes, other girls. Agreed. And That's what Larry I thought we were doing, Yuki but Girl. I didn't okay. consult you. Okay, I didn't know. Whatever. You kept me up late. I don't know what's going on. Good enough for me. How you got a hundred bucks? See, we need the money, yo. Oh man. You didn't read it. You were we just agreed. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, now where were we? Oh, let's see here. Let me skip some of this. Oh, well. Let's cut to the chase. I now pronounce you man and wife. Till death do you part. Or until you get tired of each other. Or the series becomes unprofitable. Per the current we acceptable social standards. You may quiz the bride, says the preacher. Oh, boy, you think. And with that, he disappears behind the altar to refill his flask. Not now, says Fawn. That kissing stuff can wait. I've got much better things in mind for us, Larry. Galatia? I'll go to our room right now and get everything ready for our big night, says Vaughn knowingly. You meet me at Casino Hotel's Honeymoon Suite as soon as you can, and I'll give you much more than kisses, my passionate polyester peacock. Oh my. Hey! I shout. You shout, Larry shouts, we all shout, wait for me! Somehow this entire ceremony was less than you expected. The sacred bonds of marriage certainly gets tied loosely in this joint. It was Elvis in the original one. It was an Elvis sort of avatar. impersonator. Yeah. Oh, vertically challenged. That's the way I should have said it. Vertically no, challenged. Right. That is right. That is, well, but still, I think it's roller coaster impaired. Everyone's a grifter in this town. True story. Hey, where'd she it, go, you think? <laughs> she's in the trench. She's not here anymore. <laughs> All right, that would be helpful. All right, I have to take a break. Now that we're married, I actually have to go to the bathroom, have a cigarette. It was that good. So if you wow. want to. Do you want to slide over and start talking? Slide over. You want to go and talk to the chat for a little sec, and then I'll be back in a flash? Sure. Well, yeah, and I, I can go to the hotel, but I'll just... If you want, up. Yeah, if you want to meet me at the hotel, I'll be there in a second. Okay, cool. I'm worse than Fawn. The cabbie snarls, uh, where to, buddy? All right. Let's go to the hotel, which is at Lefty's Bar. Fermented Cinema says, I always cry at a wedding. <laughs> JT Crick says, Polyester Peacock? Is that a new streaming service? <laughs> hey, that's a good one, JT Crick. Well, here you are, buddy. Pay the cabbie. I forget this is the hotel. But I don't know. Why can't I go in? Um. Well, hey. 
Hello and welcome to everyone who is listening. I hope you're having a really great Sunday night turning into Monday. It's already Monday morning for me. Although you could be in a different part of the world where it's been Monday for a while already. Somebody left their light on. Yeah, they did. Oh. She took the diamond, says Mars Monkey Max. She did. She did. Well, let's see what's going on. Who is this VTuber named Mono Moichavar? I don't know. I have no idea who that is, but I'm glad you're here, Master 8. No. I have no idea. Sorry, I can't help you. When you decided to become a swinging guy, this wasn't exactly what you had in mind. Well, okay, so I already know how to get to the hotel. All I have to do is say, Can sent me over here. And Monday afternoon already for fermented cinema. Why <laughs> you carefully whisper, Ken sent me to the closed door. Why you do not know? Okay, so you do have to knock on the door first before they know, before you can say what the password is. There. I mean, I'm just guessing this is... Like, I might not even be at the right place because I'm not the one who knows... Oh, you know what? It's a cas- Okay. You know what? Okay, so this is not the right place. The hell, lady? What are you doing back at Lefties? You're back at the I've... tour. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was looking for a hotel. I thought oh. you were going to go and talk to the chat for a second. <laughs> I did. Well, I wanted oh, to play. Oh, and then you, and then well, you decide. The chat is there. I see them. All right. Okay, as long as you can see them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're doing fine. I, I don't know. I'm just fussing around. All right. I didn't want to do nothing while you were gone. Okay, so now I realize I probably should have gone to the casino, right? Yeah, but also, let's not forget, how much money do you have? Every oh, cab know. ride costs money. $94. $94, we should be okay. We should be okay. Yeah. I don't know should how I much. More, should I make more money or am I okay? Well, we are going to be at a casino. All right. <laughs> she talked with the chat. We were all scandalized at what she told us about you. <laughs> I didn't say anything about Scotty. Hmm. What, I don't, what could I have said? I don't think that Jill could have said anything that I haven't already said about myself. Mm. Well, actually, you make it even worse because you lie about who you are. Because I'm Batman. Because you're Batman. I thought you That's were Spider-Man. Right. No, I'm too old. Okay. Spider-Man's a teenager. Or a college teacher. I forget. I can't keep up with this modern. Uh, <laughs> casino. Casino. <laughs> Not the wedding chapel. We've already been there. I'm already married. See, it's Although I didn't weird. sign any official documents or anything. Well, we did seem to have a very official officiant. <laughs> yes. He had all the liquor. Not all of it. Don't forget to pay him. <laughs> when was the last time you saved? <laughs> I don't know. Well. I should say. As long as you didn't die. We're okay. I didn't We're die. Good. I didn't. I didn't get beat to death. Dang, you that cabbie get... doesn't play around. Well, you know, I've seen a lot of Uber drivers getting in a lot of crap lately. YouTube videos are a way to find out about why you should not drive for Uber in a major American city. Wow. What? Wow. I used Uber and I've never had a problem. It's crazy. Uh. Okay. So wedding chapel, casino. Enter the casino. Go. Go north. 
to the elevators. North? Okay. I'm north. Well, north, up. You know, we're Santa. I lives. know, I know, I know. You know, <laughs> you're reminding me of the original text based adventure games where you have to say north, south, east, west just to move. Like that there's no arrows. You can't just walk. You have to say north, south, east, west. Oh. Okay, so go. we go into the elevator. Oh, and you Where's also the have elevator? To use... See this see this corkscrew looking thing? Oh, that's the elevator. That didn't look like yeah. an elevator to me. Well, it's got buttons, kind of. I see. I see it now. It's really jittery. Well, I blame the emulator. You do need breath spray before you go into the uh, into the thing. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm glad you saved. Because we may have to do this all over again. Because we got to get out of the elevator. The best there we go. There we go. Uh, minty fresh. Ooh, good call, Jay. Jay Goodwin says it's an evolutionator, hence the double helix. Uh, we go to the fourth floor. Okay. It's an evolutionary, the double helix. It's a corkscrew. Oh my god! Just vomit it even spins you. It even spins you around. <laughs> Ooh, you're dizzy. Okay, so. Knock on the door with the heart. Okay. This is this. Yeah, we're going to have to go and make more money. Because of your little excursion to the bar. And I can't believe that I'm the one getting angry at you for going to the bar. <laughs> I always thought I would be the guy. <laughs> Scott, why are you going to the bar all the time? Well, people do get angry at you for going to the bar. Well, I don't go to bars very often. There, what? Yes, you do. There, when uh, there's pinball machines, you will. Oh, for sure. No argument. There's a click as she unlocks the door. Then a piercing. Come on in. The door's open. Subtly, you shout. Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> So now apparently you're supposed to use the radio. The oh, radio? No, this is you. This is you. Oh, Larry. This is fun. I've been waiting patiently right here on the bed just for you. Okay. You got to use the radio. So then I turn on the radio? Yeah. You turn that radio up for that sweet sound. Then you hold her close. Keep doing it's it. It's like until... a nice mellow station. The, the tuning, tuning knob, knob on the radio is stuck. Looks like you're stuck with easy listening station. So just hang out. Okay. Um, okay. I guess look at it. Well, give it a go. See if you can touch phone. That's exactly like the ribbon. Okay. She doesn't appear to be in the mood yet, Larry. Hmm. Okay. So, I'll look at that. I think the least a gentleman would do is buy a lady a bottle of wine. Oh, no. I gave the box of wine to the hobo. Oh. What? Well, but I got a knife out of it. The radio interrupts the lovely Frank Sinatra melody with an obnoxious singing commercial. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> we're Ajax Liquor and we're proud to say we deliver a Across the USA, you're out of luck, but you want to dine. Oh, 
And now back to our music. So we got to go back to the convenience store and get more wine. Or go to the uh, lobby and call the number. Did you get the number? It was 555 something or other. 5558039. So leave the room. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Or, sorry, 8039. My mistake. You're not in the mood? Well, you better get in the mood, yo. <clears throat> You're out of luck, but you want to dine, but you just need booze. Dial 555-8039. And see, right? Jay Goodwin says, she's not in the mood? Well, she better prepare for disappointment because the best she can expect is to play. Definitely not for play. Shooter is obviously Australian. Sure, a lady loves goon. Goon being Aussie for cheap box wine and the best way to make an inflatable pillow. Uh, why doesn't the hotel have a phone? It does, in the lobby. Oh, okay. And that doesn't really explain anything, Jill. There should be room phones. There should be room phones. That's what I'm upset about, actually. Well, I suppose we can talk to the person who designed the elevator and find out what their major malfunction was with this hotel. See, there's a phone right there. Oh, great. Okay, I can use the phone then. I hope so. You attempt to return the telephone to work in order by prying the chewing gum out of the slot. You cannot. You just have to find another telephone. No! You're ready to have to go to the shop. Yep. So check out how much money you got in your wallet, yo. Because we're going to have to okay. pay for that wine, too. $64. Should I get some nah, more money? We need, yeah, we need more money. All right. I'm going to save. Yes. But also, I think that it is a valuable uh, learning lesson for everyone in the chat and on the rerun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share. This particular instance, don't tell your mom. Uh, your dad. Tell your dad. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you want to make money in this world, I would highly recommend slot machines. That is a fine financial investment. That, I would not agree with that particular advice. Well. Unless not. you're in a Sierra game. If you're a character in a Sierra game, go to all the slot machines you want. Because all you have to do is save and restore. And you can be rich forever. Yeah. If only save and restore were a thing that you could do in real life. Right. So... $64. Everything, yes, agreed. And don't forget to save. You don't have any more money. Save. We didn't have any money to save. begin with. This is all fictional. <laughs> what? Restore. Restore. Play again. Welcome back to the game, everybody. Now... Let's all go to the lobby. You know how to sing that song. Sing Let's that song. all go to the lobby. Let's all play with the slot machine. Let's gamble things till we win stuff and restore when we lose. Wee! I got it. Hey, that's plenty of money. We got plenty. JT Kirk says, see, I hear women complain frequently about the cost of makeup and clothing. Damn. Look at the bill Larry has to put for one night with a lady with green hair. Yeah. That's you shut your face, JT Kirk. That's that's Larry's wife. 
You want to do it again? You want Does to give she? It another go? Uh, oh, you want me to get more money? Give it a go. Why not? We're in a gambling <laughs> establishment. Let's 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 make some more money. See if it see if it works. And if it doesn't work, we can just leave. Okay. It didn't. It didn't work. Okay, so we restore and we leave. This is okay. why you don't bring me to a casino. Hey, come on! I wasn't thinking about it. I don't even like casino. I went to Vegas for the Star Trek 50th convention. I didn't do any gambling at all. I wasn't Mark interested. Is disappointed. In it. He is disappointed. But you know what? I'm so happy I didn't because at one point I was in the elevator and there was this couple who had lost everything and they were crying. I was like, I'm so glad that's not me. It would be so sad to see a Vulcan crying at a slot machine or a blackjack table. Uh, well, we gotta go there was the... one exception. I told myself I don't really care about gambling. But if they have... Convenience store. If they had Dabo or Tongo... I was going to play, and I told myself this. They didn't have either, so... Com creation missed out on a bunch of money from me. I might have gambled if they made it Star Trek themed. I don't even know the rules of Tongo. Confront? Me neither, but I would have done it. Just for the... Just say I did. See, Mars Monkey Max has got all the luck for everyone. I love casinos. Mars Monkey Max says, I always walk away with money. That'll be $27. See, it costs so oh, much. Don't really don't forget to pay. Don't forget to pay. Yes, you are so evade. Lucky. You're what? lucky, Mars Monkey Max. Because I from what I hear, the house always wins. I played Fallout New Vegas. <clears throat> so now see that thing? You see that thing? A phone? That's it. Why is... Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. Five, five, eight, oh, three, nine. Yeah, I, I pushed it in already. It's ringing. Evade. <laughs> yeah, evade. I never played Tonko, but I would try. Casinos are fun. A little gambling, drinking, live music. Yeah, I bet they are fun. I just never let myself do it. And I guess it was because... Well, birds do I, it. Bees do it. Even educated fleas do it. I just didn't want to. Man. Oh, Mars Monkey Max. I had fun in the pool, though. <clears throat> Hello, Ajax Liquor Store. We deliver. Yay. I'd like to purchase some fine wine, you say. Good luck. Hey, you called the right guy, he says. Where did you want it delivered? To the Casino Hotel's Honeymoon Suite, you respond. And step on it. Step I can't believe this is this game. I'm glad you're here because I would, I would not think to do the things that we've done. Okay, consider it done. I'll send one of my hottest young men. Hey. Thanks for calling. And with that, he hangs up. Great. Okay, what so then I go back to hottest. So then I go back to um, the casino for the hotel. Yep, that's right. Just press a button or walk away. Exit. We're gonna need. We're gonna need to. We're, there's gonna be more gambling, you know. I didn't realize that this was gonna be dragged out so much by the gambling, but we're gonna have to gamble more. Okay. Oh God! How much more money do I need? All of it. All of it. Don't don't dial nine one one. Fermented cinema says, "Uh oh, hottest young men." I see where this is going. I know, and we just got married. Does no one oh, believe in the sanctity? And that's where yeah. I am, Shooter. I once bet 50... Yeah, so go back to the casino. 
I once bet 50 bucks on blackjack and got blackjack on the first round. And that was me done for the night. That is exactly how I felt. The last time I went to a casino, I put $5 into a slot machine and I won 45. So I got 50 back and I was like, that's it. That's it. JT Kirk says all the casinos here in Michigan allow smoking and it's worse than any bowling alley I've ever been in. You walk through and to use the bathroom and you come out smelling like an ashtray. Well, as a smoker, uh, that's free secondhand smoke, sir. So I do appreciate that. As a non-smoker, I can understand how it would be uh, balls. I feel like I can use all of my casual swears while we play Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah, Not no, I'm his... never I'm never going to try to monetize this. You can have fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's already so anyway. even just putting Leisure Suit Larry in the title automatically put, gives you limited ads. Because I tried to monetize the previous le Leisure Suit stream. That's because you said it was for children. I never said it was for children. It's animated. It's just a small little guy with big eyebrows. No, I never say that any of my videos are for kids. None of them are. Even though I, I talk about things that are safe for kids, like Star Trek, the original series. So you, didn't, not... you know where the elevator is. You've been there before. Yeah. Yeah, I do. There you go. This is a matter of steering, Jill. I was distracted. Fourth level, please. Le le level, please. Up your shaft. <laughs> I love Montgomery Scott. Alright. <laughs> that, is, that is what they put on the back of the box, Shooter. A small little guy with big eyebrows and a pervy smile. Oh, somebody earlier said, I forget who, Jill does like to gamble. She goes to the movie theater. <laughs> and that is true. That is true. You don't know what you're going to get, usually. Fawn, sexy voice says, do you want to narrate any of this? Or are we just Oh, like, I thought she at... was going to say the same thing that she said before. There's a no, because Moxibor there was a sexy uh, booze delivery man. Come on in, you wonderful hunk. Oh, she's happy now. Okay, well that, okay, finally. Here I okay. come, baby. Oh, it's you. <laughs> now you know where the old elephants go to die. Your mouth. What? Oh, Larry, it's you, says Fawn. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. Oh, oh wow, you're right. <laughs> Hmm, hmm, what does she mean by that? Oh, well, you decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. I think you have to do something with the... Uh, we did that. We did that. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Use your hand on the bottle of wine over to the left. Here. Okay. See where the radio is? Yeah. Yeah, Just I see. Underneath it. You see that bot that you see that incredibly phallic green thing? Yeah, I do. Delicious. The animation on this is so good. Yeah, he's pouring. You carefully remove the bottle from the ice bucket. Unscrew the cap and pour two glasses. She downs her glass immediately, you refill it, and she does it again. Her eyes meet yours, and you're sure luck is with you this time. Nice. Now, can we skip now. to the coitus? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you could talk to her first instead of the hand, but if you want to use the hand, that's fine. Oh, uh, she says, oh, feels nice. Okay. Um, okay. Then. Oh, there's a zipper icon? Oh, yeah, there is. Do I need to use that? Wow. 
Why not? We are married. She says, lie down, Larry. I have a special little surprise for you. Oh, and Larry says, I have an even smaller surprise for you. <laughs> then she says, close your eyes. And you do, because you're sure that finally success is at hand. Censored. No, this, this is great. Oh, Fawn, you moan. Oh, baby, that feels so good. Ooh. Say, Fawn, when are you going to get undressed? <laughs> hey, what are you doing with the ribbon? Uh oh. Oh, I see. We're going to get kinky. Our first time. Uh oh. When Fawn has you securely tied to the bed, she leaps from the bed, grabs your wallet, and says, You forgot to pay me for the wine. It came to $187, including the tip. Wait, Fawn, you shout. Come back. This is our wedding night. <coughs> so long, <laughs> sucker. But Fawn, come back. This isn't funny. I love you. Hmm. Does the counter guy consummates by himself? Well, not if your hands are tied. Larry, it seems the honeymoon's over. That's what I heard. Uh, look what you got me into. This was not good. Yeah, I blame the bitches. Okay. Well, well, she I'm... tied me up. I don't think this is unreasonable. Yeah, no, I I agree. It is definitely Fawn's fault. You can't do anything Fawn has fastened you quite securely. Isn't it amazing how si a simple ribbon can hold you so securely? Yes. Okay, so let's see what Check we have. Check your inventory. You got a knife. I do. Oh, see? It was good I gave that guy some wine. <laughs> it was great that you gave a hobo some wine for a knife. Agreed. Yeah. Right, using the old pocket knife you got from an old bum by the convenience store. You saw through you saw through the ribbon holding you to the bed. Yay. Shooter knew it was a trap. Yeah, shooter knew it. Shooter knew. I didn't think it sounded right either, but I didn't know she was gonna tie me up. JT Kirk is making fun money. of Larry's weenus. And yes, I agree, JT Kirk. Surprise. The sound effects of chugging that booth. No, 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 no. Yeah, I pause when I my booth. You grab your wallet and look inside. Oh well, at least you didn't find the ten bucks you hid in that secret compartment. With your consummate gambling skills, you should be back on your feet in no time. Exactly. This game is great. Let's save. Because I presume all of what we did was normal. Yes. Mikey Suze 4 is here. Oh my god, hey. no way, folks. Leisure Suit Larry, what a forlorn loser. Hey, Mikey, well, how are you doing? Everyone's a loser until they find their true love, and we have not yet encountered passionate Patty and oh. Larry's pulsating pectorals. Well, see, I knew this girl wasn't the one, because all she wanted was all my stuff and my money. It was the green hair. Okay, That's so mine. I need to I need to go win yeah. some more money. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Well, how else am I gonna finish this game? I have no idea. If you ever uh, have to quit, just let me know. I won't. 
I can't. We've gone too far. We're um, almost there. We're almost there. <clears throat> okay. So we got to go to the casino. Like we have our clothes on. Make sure you're zipped up, because sometimes they get oh upset right, you're not you're not where you know you got to make sure that your penis isn't showing. Jill, okay. Jill. Larry, don't do that on the elevator. Yeah, okay, no, no, he had, he so had his walk, out, walk away from the elevator and just make sure, make sure that you're you're dressed. I did, I did because okay. I tried to use a zipper thing on him, and he said the the text says don't do that on the elevator. So we're assuming that we're all zipped up. Great. Yes. Uh, well, no. So... Because oh, there's a blackjack happened. machine. We don't have to play slot machine. We can do blackjack machine. I don't know why I think the blackjack machine is better. Yeah, why do you think the black jack machine is better? It's because I've been playing New Vegas. Okay. Let's save it here. Yeah, just in case we find out that our, our weenus is out. Right. I never know what's going to happen to Larry. People beat up on him a lot. Well, he, he kind of sucks. He's a desperate man, putting all of his faith in uh, in companionship as opposed to becoming a self-actualized individual with hopes and dreams. He's yes. looking for validation from other people, and that is that is something that everyone on YouTube can identify with, and that's why He's... I'm happy that we're playing this cartoonish game. You seem to really understand Larry. Well, <laughs> I've been fired a lot. So, uh, I don't know. Do you want to play? Uh, do you want to do slot machine or blackjack? Where's the black? Uh, where's the blackjack? I don't see any. Blackjack. I don't know. Maybe the blackjack's on the left side, and the uh, what you call it? I don't know. All you got to use. I don't know. I'm do just you... gonna use them. I'm just gonna do what I know. Okay, makes sense. Oh no! If if. All right. That is blackjack. It is blackjack. So just make sure you save when we get here. Okay. Let's do a little variety for the audience. Little, uh, little something extra for the crowd. What's going on? <laughs> I, I've never played blackjack. What am I doing? Well, the answer is twenty-one. It's half well, of forty-two. Oh, 21. Okay, I have played blackjack, but I've never played it in the casino. Like I played it by myself. This isn't gonna change that at all. But I don't know what all these buttons mean. Deal. All right. I it would stay. Oh. Eleven. No, we 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 lost. Okay. So. Nineteen and four. That's twenty-three. Let's go back to the slot machine. It seems this stay or split. If we can split, can we split? Click the hand here when you have only two matching cards and you want to split them into two hands, doubling. We your can't hand. do that. We can't do that. Let's go back to the slot machine. It'll be easier for everyone. It's it's less complicated, yes, agreed. Just make sure you get your money. Yay, our $10. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there are many things that I can do in this particular instance. One of them is not teaching antiderivative Jill how to play blackjack on a late night stream. I'm, I sure, I I'm sure I, I can. I know you it. can. I'm never, I'm I've got, never split I tens. Went, I, went to the, I went to university. I have a degree in computer science and a minor in mathematics. I think I could play blackjack. I'm pretty sure you know how to add to 21, but also Miskatonic Madman seems like the kind of guy who knows how to uh, work the gambling. I don't. So, I would love to you, learn. Okay, more. see, that's a little more honest. We're both a little ignorant on it. I am. So, I am. I only know blackjack from playing New Vegas. Fair enough. I've never put money sense. on the line. I think I played blackjack once with twenty dollars, and it was the fastest twenty dollars I've ever spent. And I buy cigarettes, so. 
how much money do we need? I don't know, but I definitely need more than $10. True story. Cinnamon, that's going to old. Let's go for a hundred. Let's go for a hundred dollars. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. And this is going to take forever, but that doesn't make a lick of difference because, quite frankly, Wes Kegel is here. Welcome, Wes Kegel. Wes Kegel says. And I apologize for not being Jill's voice. This is one of the reasons I love this channel. I wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m., unable to get back to sleep, and I find you guys playing games. Instant company. Indeed. Hey, Wes Cagle. Well, I hope you're able to get back to sleep. But while you work on going back to bed, I'm glad we can be company. Who knows? Maybe he has to start work soon. I don't know where West Kegel lives. Well, actually, Eastern Standard Time because it's 3 a.m. But it's good to have you here, West Kegel. It's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> JT Kirk says antiderivative Jill took a graduate level statistical methods and statistics classes. Or, sorry. Methods. There is no way to beat the house. Counting cards can increase your odds, but the house always wins. Yeah, you know, when you watch TV, you always see they, they make counting cards seem more magical than it is. But yeah, counting cards will definitely help. And Mars Monkey Max says, I used to play fake money blackjack on the computer and made up to $68 million. But it was fake money. Exactly. Hey, we I made got, something. I got to save. Yeah, 20 bucks. So we doubled our money. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Up the bet. Mm -hmm. Then save. Yes. And then play. Winning at a casino is all about cameras. Is Mars Monkey Max. Hmm. I don't even think that there's a possibility of winning in a casino anymore. Before, it used to be the uh, supervisors, like the pit bosses and all that jazz. But nowadays, with uh, with cameras and all that, I don't think that you can. I think that it is literally luck that is stacked against you. But that's just... Oh, what do we got? Nothing. Nothing. We just got even. Breaking even. Breaking even. Might as well just play again. You don't have to restore. But this is the thing, is that the... The blackjack actually... Like, the return on blackjack is better. I believe you. But it's going to take so much. Like, even I don't know how to play. Like, if we had if we had someone else who knew how to gamble. Yeah, that's okay. All, we're we're going to get there. We'll get there. All I know how to do we'll is there. save and restore. Like, literally, that is my gambling, gambling strategy. It, it works. Let's just do it. All right. Hey. If the dealer changes, then take a break. Never trust $60. Okay, right. save oh, it. Let's save. save. And then up it again. All of it. Okay, and then save it. Yep. And then play. Mikey Seuss 4 says slot machines are always fixed in a certain way. You're damn lucky. Play again. If you can trip the right spinners and win the jackpot. The stats would blow your brain up, Miss Jill. Play again. You don't have to. I know. I will. I will. I will. I'm just Where are saving. you saving? Because to save the fact that I broke even. This isn't going to work. Now I'm going to restore. You're really good at that. 
I am so good at restoring. You're so good at restoring. Oh, I'm an expert restorer. Bling, 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 bling. Don't listen to me. Bell. I think that's bad. Fermented Cinema says, well, I'm off to pick up the kids from daycare. Good luck, Larry. Thank you so much for tuning in, Fermented Cinema. I hope you have the great rest of your day where you are and that the kids did amazing at daycare and learned how to read and count to 100. And then I hope you take the children to the casino. Or the dog track. Well, I tried Maybe. that. They don't really like kids at the casino. Or the dog track? But kids love dogs. <laughs> Never tried the dogs. They don't have them in Canada. They're not allowed. Hmm. Interesting. We're not allowed to have dogs in Canada is what I'm saying. No, you're not allowed to make dogs be the focus of a gambling tournament, which makes sense. Which is stupid. What a waste yeah. of money that Michael Vick subscription was. Michael Vick. Oh, is that the guy who did bad things to dogs? That That's dog fighting. That's bad. But dog races, that's not as bad. If they're just running around. As long as you're you still got to get them riled up, though. Like, it is still animal cruelty to a certain extent. Kind of is. Yeah. Like they have that. to want to chase that rabbit. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. That's no one likes that. I always play two machines at once. Says Mars Monkey Max. I believe you. That I guess that makes sense. I suppose I can turn off the advertisement for parenting. Cherries, cherries. Mm. Oh, yay! 120. We're good. Let's go. Save. Is that enough? Yep. Okay. I'll trust you. Plenty. That's as far as I know. I think so. All right. Well, let's try. We can always come back if we need more. So go grab a, grab a taxi. Okay. Where am I going now? I've been... We're going back to lefties. Okay. That's where all good knights go to die, is lefties. Great. You know what? One of the fun things about the original, and I don't know if you can do it here, but if you walk into the middle of the street, the cab will just hit you. Yes, I have. I've accidentally walked too much, and I got nice. killed. That's and the game says... Maybe you just, Larry, just shouldn't be crossing the street. Talk to him. The meter's running. Go to lefties. <clears throat> All right. Why is it saying to do this? Did You're already... talking out loud. I usually do talk out loud jill that's how talking works if you're saying that i'm thinking out loud that's more accurate um, 414 says dog races are an excuse to hide our mistreatment of mechanical rabbit <laughs> yes measure of a mechanical rabbit Booger, thank you so much. Why are so many people up this late? I am working. Well, dude, I need a job. And I think that you are my hero currently. I well, there's just it. one more Star Trek show, and you're going to go get that job. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to say, this is my job now. And you'll just start working there. Okay, stop and going there. Stop going there. Stop going there. Okay, Why are yeah, you going sorry. to the Naga Heights? I don't know. I don't know. Where do where my you said I was supposed to be here? I said you were supposed to go to the bar. I didn't say you had to go fucking rapping on neighbors' doors. Never more. Okay, fine, 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 fine. All right, go on the. Okay, so go to the red door. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just told me not to. I know. I got freaked out. I didn't know. It's like walking into a bar with a lady and she's all like, I know where I'm going. And it's like, oh my God, I don't want to get beat up. 
<laughs> so go in, yeah, go in there and did you do you what? This is very strange. So yeah, go through. And also you're gonna have to use your uh your your what you call it? Breath spray. That's it. It's because it's uh, it smells like uh, a bunch of uh, elephants in your mouth. You. I right. know. That's what I heard. Okay. Uh... So go up. Okay. We already did this thing with her, though. What are we doing here? I again? know. I don't know. But you're allowed to get back in here again, as you've proved before. So everything's tickety-boo. Oh, maybe we just skip to the part where we go to the window. Well, you got to use your... You got to use... Uh, you got to use the zipper icon on Larry twice. Why? I don't know. Just do it. Try it. Give it a go. That seems stupid. Because I already did the thing with her. She's Will happy. She's still, she's still smoking a cigarette. That's how good Larry was. Yes. With his pushpin penis. Can you please use the zipper on yourself twice? No. You stupid. go. Will you just listen to what I am saying? Go back inside of the apartment, please. Hmm. You're not fine. Then I'll be back in a second. I'm going to finish my cigarette and then you can figure out what the fuck you want to do. Well, well, it looks like this month's issue is filled with intelligent literary articles laden with redeeming social value. For example, here's an article about how professional window washers secure themselves to the sides of tall buildings with a rope tied around their waist. Oh, a rope. Uh, I don't have rope. I need rope. And I, I scared Scotty away by trying to determine my own destiny. So I'm going to have to go back through this window. Uh, oh, okay, I guess... I guess I gotta walk to this portion. Try moving to the east end. All right. Okay, so I couldn't do this anyway because I don't have a rope. So I gotta get out of here. And it's okay. We're gonna find the rope. Wherever the rope may be. I think I was supposed to get the rope from when I got tied to the bed, but I never picked it up. So let's go back to the casino. So now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's all right. We're going to be fine. We're going to go to the we're going to go to the casino. And when Scotty returns from his excursion of being upset at me for not doing what he said, <laughs> He will be even more upset to find me at the casino where we just were. Alright, it'll be fine now. Okay. Well, it said I need rope, and I figure I just got tied up. So I need to go get the rope. But it's fine. Maybe we could do it fast enough. To where Scotty doesn't even notice. Because he seems upset. Okay. Thanks again, buddy. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Carrying a knife and a rope? Nothing suspicious about that. No, not at all. Because the more zippers, the better the guy. <laughs> No, but that didn't make any sense to me. Sorry. 
I've been saying everything. I've been doing everything you said until it didn't make sense anymore. Let's go back to room four. Hopefully I can get back into that room. Poor, poor Jill. <laughs> it's like having Scotty as a backseat driver. <laughs> well, but he's been a really great backseat driver until I decided to be, uh, you know, play the game independently. But it's alright. There's no response to your knock, but now your knuckles hurt. Alright. I need to get in there. I messed up. Okay, um... How do I get into this? Uh, hmm. Oh, you figured it out? Yeah, I did. But how do I get back in the hotel room? What is this? Calculator? Yeah. It's something that you carry with you. Not the hammer, but you didn't get the ribbon. Oh, uh, yeah. How do I get back in the room to get the ribbon? We don't. Really? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. And you've been saving over the same save game this entire time. Oh... So, ladies and gentlemen, if I could just see Jill at camera too. Oh no! Oh yeah, I think use a knife on the door. No, there's no way to get back in. Let me check. The only person who can let you into that room is Fawn, and Fawn has, for lack of a better term, fucked off. So, yeah. We have two mm -hmm. options. Actually, we don't have two options. The only option... The only option we have is to, uh, to go back. It's no good. There's no concierge. There is no front desk. There's no phone, no but, light, but no motor car. Anytime I get locked luxury. out of the room, all I have to do is ask somebody, please, I, I needed a thing. And they We need a me. rope. We need a rope. And in this particular instance, because it wasn't called rope in this game, it was called ribbon in this game. Um, I didn't think to collect it. But, uh, yeah, no, there's no way to get it. So, this is one of those things that we're going to have to backtrack off uh, in the backs. Yeah, Wes Cagle knows what's going on. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's bad. And uh, Booger says, break down the door with the hammer? No. Uh, every item in this is, except for the breast spray, is a uh, single use. So, I think that this is something. <laughs> Miskatonic Madman with the absolute perfect fiddlesticks. Oh, oh. Okay, so then the question is, do you want to watch me replay all that shit again? <laughs> Not now. Too late for this kid. Okay, so we're going to have to have a part three to this game. And when we come back, I will have done all the things that you've already seen me do. And I will be at the point where I'm collecting the rope next time. Well, we're just going to... We'll figure it out. No, I, I will reset. I will do all the things that are required until I get the rope. And then once I get to the point where I'm tied up in the bed, that's where... We will return next time for Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards Part 3, in which I will collect the rope. But no, that's the fun in point-and-click adventure games. If you fail to collect the correct thing, then yeah, you pretty much fail the game. And so that's what's happened here, but it's fine. We know what to do, and I can restore us to the correct point later. It's totally fine. I it's know you still, wanted to finish, but we're yeah, not going to we finish were, today. We were almost there, but I... Uh, uh, it'll okay, still be better no than Rise of Skywalker. 
It will be. It'll be fine. There's no point in saving. I should just close it. And I will fix this save so that it's good. And I know everything we just did. And if I don't, I can just watch the video. And so in that case, we're good to go. This was still a really fun stream, wasn't it? We I made progress in that I know what I'm doing. Well, let's not go crazy. I know some of what I'm doing. Breakdown. Yeah, the hammer didn't work. Oh, sorry. And uh, Stark of Iron, watch the Alistor show. Uh, I played the entire Has Been Hotel soundtrack on uh, his keyboard, which is absolutely Ooh. fantastic. Unfortunately, the only thing that I have to say is that uh, when it comes to hotels, the Happiness Hotel is my favorite because there's no fire in the fireplace. There's no carpet on the floor. Don't try to order dinner. There's no kitchen anymore. So Speaking of people playing on the piano. Yes. There's Tulane on the piano. Hey! Absolutely smashing. I'm so glad that you're sharing more of your talents, Tony. That's good news. I got a cough. Booger gets it. Happiness Hotel. And yeah, absolutely. Sean Carter. Tony sounded great. And I don't doubt it. He's a marvelous entertainer. Everyone should go and uh, uh, subscribe to Stark of Iron. He is a Agreed. knowledgeable, entertaining gentleman. Absolutely. Has the Stream Elements put his link up? No, but I can. If you wish. Hmm. I got it wish. already. Oh, wow. Aren't you prepared? Well, because I'm pretty quick. Well, um, no. Because I'm a, I started my YouTube career as a moderator. So I know what I'm doing. Oh. Anyone that I would know? <laughs> Cardinal Sin is was always very proud of the fact that he has had me as a mod first one week before I became a moderator. On Jim Cox channel. <clears throat> also, go uh, go subscribe to Overlord DVD. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love that guy. He's my friend. Booger four one four says, "I never realized how much the Happiness Hotel reminded me of Old Joe's place." Or is it the other way around? Well, gosh, I'm so glad you guys came to play with me and we did make progress. I'm pretty happy with it. And we didn't we didn't spend too much time. I hope you have Are fun. you really? Are you happy? Uh, I am happy, yes. Nice. Well, it's not like nothing happened. Something happened. We made oh. a mistake, but we know how to fix it. True. All we gotta do, we'll fix it. And also, you've done Kalto with uh, with Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina yeah. of Time. That's right. And then you did unfortunately lose a little bit of progress on that, but you are yeah. going to be returning to uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and that's gonna yes. be uh, that's gonna be great. That'll be and fun, so for sure. It's just a matter. It's just a matter of recovering where we went wrong, and so. Well, where it went wrong was getting a new computer, copying over my data, but not copying over the save for that. I thought. Particular I, game. I thought where you went wrong in this particular instance is that Leisure Suit Larry didn't have the opportunity to fuck Zelda. Well, Zelda is a princess, and Leisure Suit Larry is not quite royalty himself. No, but he's trying. He is trying, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does his best. Exactly. But he's very... Same as Link. Yeah. Well, at least Link is a hero. Yeah. I really want to I want to go forward and say that no Larry's a hero, but when I actually think about it, it's like no, but no, he's not. No, he's not. 
Yeah, so eventually Link does save Princess Zelda in the final battle. And Zelda's there too, though, with her, her uh, she helps a little bit. She's very her, chaste. Hmm, with her bow and arrow that she has. Does she have a bow and arrow? Yeah, she does. Well, bows and arrows, they uh, they pretty much guarantee penetration. That's the entire business. Mm -hmm. Probably not the fun kind. No, like it's violent. Forces, playing Old Castle Wolfenstein is really an easy game. Hopefully, I'll still see Jill tackle that one. Oh, <laughs> oh, that. Mm -hmm. Shooter says, I saw Jill try Doom. It was painful to watch. Yeah, well, that's why I started this with point and click adventure games because those are what I'm good at. But this time I forgot to look at things and collect them like I'm supposed to. And so I, I put all the blame on myself for not painting. Well, no, it was my fault. I forgot to pick up that one thing. That was my mm -hmm. fault. I will was... take responsibility. Okay. It was all right. It was my fault, too, though. I, I know how to play point and click adventure games. I should have done it. And, yeah, but I did. It, it might have been painful to watch me play Doom, but I did play and complete the first part. So yeah. I could probably clip all that into a 20-minute video of me finally doing it and cut out all the parts where I die. <laughs> oh, actually, this would be... Yeah, I can't wait until we have our six-hour Leisure Suit Larry playthrough that is finally cut together into the proper two-hour version where we're not just, you know, saving and restoring <laughs> to make money. Yeah, uh, but exactly. but there is, there is uh, something that's going to be coming up this Tuesday, and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to read uh, how I feel about this Tuesday's um, infinite lunch in infinite combination in indefinite 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 lunch in infinite combinations. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Hey, brother, Adam. I hear you, feel you. I reach you. Reach you. That's it. Whatever. Forgettable episode. Uh, <laughs> but I like I, I like that part. All right. So I just wanted to say one thing, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, I don't know if you have a trailer for the top ten. No, I don't. On have Tuesday. A okay. Well, then I have a little poem that uh, was originally spoken by Christopher Plummer. Uh, for Star Trek Six, if I may. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> if I may. For one quarter of a century, they have thrilled us with their adventures, amazed us with their discoveries, and inspired us with their courage. Their ship has journeyed beyond imagination. Her name has become legend. Their crew, the finest ever assembled, we have traveled beside them from one corner of the galaxy to the other. They have been our guides, our protectors, and our friends. And now, antiderivative Jill invites you for one last adventure. For, the at, for at the end of indefinite lunch of infinite combinations, lies the top 10 Star Trek episodes of the Undiscovered Country. Oh, Good enough? Cool. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Amazing. That was really cool. I enjoyed it. Delicious. <laughs> Very nice. I didn't even have a trailer, but you made one for me. And so, yeah, well, there's that's no what we're going to be doing on Tuesday. There's no video. Not yet. And that's what we'll be doing on Tuesday. We're going to, I'm going to try to make it into a thing where the entire chat can participate, but we'll see how that 
how that goes. You know how we did the brackets and people might yeah. be able to vote for their favorite. So they can they can put in you might be able if you're only in the chat, you might be able to put in your top ten if I can get it working. So I'll be working on that tomorrow or today. Yes, yeah. today. Yes. And so I better go get some sleep so we can have a good Tuesday. <laughs> Why so, do you get to get sleep? Because you get all of it. I don't know. All right. No, I adore I adore these games. And I adore your I adore the channel and I'm sure that everyone else here does too. Don't yeah. forget to like and 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 subscribe. And so I'll see you soon. I'll see you very soon. We'll talk about start some Star Trek and we're going to have some good times before we move on to the next thing. Thank you for having me here and, and Oh, uh, it's not going to be the last of my show. I'm going to keep going. You're welcome. Oh yeah, but no, I'm going to be you. talking about different stuff. Just because TOS is over doesn't mean I'm done. Good night, Tony at Stark of Iron. Good night, Shooter8323, Burger414, Mikey Seuss4, JT Kirk, Shooter8323, <laughs> and Wes Cagle. Thank you guys so much for being here, as well as Sean Carter. And Lemon Pie. Definitely can't forget Lemon Pie. We get Lemon. to see Larry dance once more. Yeah, I Bingo. remember that. Yes, this is true. Well, no, you don't. I'm going to do it behind the scenes so we don't waste time. Okay. So I'll see you guys next time. I'll be I'll be going now. I updated my members credit. So here we go. See you later. Bye-bye. Cheers. our differences combine to create meaning and beauty. It has always been easier to destroy than to create. Well, now you have something new to think about. Carry on. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Fine, I'll kill you later.